What's up? How we doing, everyone? So, I have been just having a great time with a particular Pokemon that, I'll be honest, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a little, <clears throat> I'm a little congested today. I'll be honest, uh, this Pokemon is one of my favorites of all time. I absolutely love this Pokemon, but I've never been able to use it in VGC because its stats are so bad, its typing's only okay, you know, pure fighting's fine, but finally, I found a use for Grab Locked, and of course, we're going to be using its, you know, signature move, Octolock. It's a phenomenal move. If you don't know, Octolock's actually like a, a great move, uh, but it never gets used because it's Grab Lock's the only Pokemon that gets it. So, yeah, I do not want to Octolock that <laughs> Lorantis, but I do want to Topsy Turvy it. I really want to Topsy Turvy it. All right, let's go for the thing. Let's see if I can Topsy Turvy it. And I can topsy-turvy their freaking um, Calyrex Ice. That'd be so freaking awesome, dude. That'd be so cool. All right, let me run this Calc. Because I have not run the player of Calc. I only ran the Behemoth Blade. Okay, so it's 252.84 with a relaxed nature. Zacian. Yep, naturally tank a behemoth blade at minus one. How much does that do? Or at, yeah, at neutral pretty much. Play rough, do we live the play rough? Really doubt we do. It's a roll. It's it's a 50% chance for play rough to KO at neutral. That's kind of heat. That's actually kind of heat. 50% Oko. How slow is Grab Locked? I think it's like base 43. Forty-two. Base 42. So I don't mind giving this thing a contrary boost. Because in a second it's just gonna hate its life. Um, it's also very unlikely to Dynamax, so I'm gonna fake out it. And Trick Room. Lorantis isn't the best Dynamax option, so. And that's mostly because all Dynamax moves that boost just make it worse. Okay, it's Grab Block time. And it's, it's a life orb? Hello? Okay, uh, well, I guess we know we just need to play rough it. That's so weird that it's life orb. Yeah, we'll just topsy-turvy it. What speed's Lorantis again? Forty-five, so we're slower. So I can topsy-turvy that guy. And uh, I'll just go for the play rough for damage. <laughs> Look at him go. I have I've almost never seen Grap locked in game. Like I think I've seen it twice. Oh, they're dynamaxing. Okay. I'm pretty fine with this as long as they just KO the Mimikyu, to be honest. Which I think might be their main target. I don't know if they're terribly scared of the Grab Locked. But even if they don't go for the Grab Locked here, or even if they do go for the Grab Locked, I still keep my Mimikyu, like one or the other, you know? Now you're at minus one. Silly Goose. And I eat that up. Wesley Coleslaw, thank you for the follow. Or for the sub. Appreciate you. Alright. Big damage. Just kidding. It's like nothing. Max Geyser, please be in the Mimikyu. That'd be so heat. Let's go. Okay. Time to hit him with the Yoinky Sploinky.
All right, so that um, that Lorantis is just at neutral, and it should feel pretty threatened here. I'm gonna go for the quake into the uh, into the guy. Yeah, coaching into quake should do a decent amount, and I might actually live with my grab block now. Depends. Oh, let's go! Oh yes, please send in the incinerator. See what happens. I'm just gonna topsy turvy. Actually, I shouldn't topsy turvy because it's gonna lower my defense now. Imagine though, could you imagine if I called the incinerator and topsy turvy this turn? Alright, nice little defense boost there, essentially. Decent damage as well as a special defense boost. I might eat this with my grapple lock, I am max HP, so... I believe Topsy Turvy does work on Dynamax. Oh, grapple locked, you loser. Okay, this is my play. Um, do I quake the Incineroar or do I call the Lorantis coming in and going for a Hailstorm? I think that they're just going to switch out for the Lorantis here. It's a bit risky, but I'm willing to go for it. Otherwise, I lose. Like, it's kind of a win or lose play. Because they shouldn't parting shot if they're not faster. Yep, got it. Nice. Calgary Max Guards, that was a perfect turn for me. Alright, let's see if Calarx Ice can 1v1 an entire team. Pretty sure I lose anyways. There's like literally a Zation in the back. <laughs> And my Trick Room should run out in a turn. I'm at plus one defense, though. Yeah, it's doable. This is doable. No, this is totally doable. I'm at plus one defense. One turn left to Trick Room. Yeah, I need this KO. Withdraws? Indization? Indi oh, I forgot. They don't have a Zation. They have a Calyrex Ice. I'm an idiot. No, I think I win. I think I win. <laughs> Why do I think they had a Zation? I'm just so used to seeing Zation Kyogre. And the one shot. That should be a win. Because they can't activate their weakness policy, and I'm at plus two special defense. No, plus three special defense, I think. I'm dumb. Plus two. I used the, uh... I haven't eaten much today. I'm gonna point that out. <laughs> I, I might not be on my A game. I haven't eaten much. Uh, but yeah, no, I used the, uh, Max Hailstorm turn two. So. Plus two special defense would be more than enough to win with Glacial Lance. Especially if I'm, if I'm at plus one attack, you know? I guess the only way this doesn't work is if they're like... I don't know... Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam could mess me up, but I do have a defense boost, so. They're in a pretty bad spot. Yeah, just Glacial Lance here. Thunder? Okay. I disagree with that play, but to each their own. Don't paralyze me. I'll, I'll cry. No? Okay. Oh, there's Sword? Hello? Sir! Sir. Okay. I have a defense boost. I'm more likely to live this than than I, I think I'm 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 probably gonna win. Last name Jengis, thanks for the follow. 
Or for the sub. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just like dumbfounded that I'm facing Swords Dance Calyrex. Like the only the only one that had a chance at winning this. All right. Uh, let's do some math. I'm at plus two attack, right? Plus two attack, plus one defense. I have less HP than him and it's probably a speed tie. Glacial Lance is resisted. So with stab, what is it? 130 times 65. So it's 195 divided by two is I think it is Glacial Lance stronger sorry I'm really bad at arithmetic I think Glacial Lance is technically stronger 185 yeah no it is all right win the speed tie twice Glacial Lance is technically stronger Oh, you're kidding me. It's going to come down to this. All right, speed tie. Or they're just not minimum speed. I think I just barely live. Don't crit. Let's go. Okay. Dude, that, that coaching 100% carried the game. Awesome. That was heat. That was heat. Graplocked did the work. Lorantis has nothing versus Graplocked. Uh, and I managed to come back from a freaking 3v1. Actually, Ferrothorn goes crazy here, too. Do I go Ferrothorn? I think I go Ferrothorn. I think I go Ferrothorn. Um... Yeah, Ferrothorn just absolutely annihilates this guy. Okay. Let's do this. No. And I think I could bring Incineroar, but I'm going to bring the Grap Lock because it's funny. I could bring Incineroar, but I'm, I'm going to bring Grap Lock because it's funny. So, uh, you know, we're not, we're not taking today terribly seriously, but hopefully it'll be fun, you know? Alone Executor? I can look into it. Pretty sure one of those top cut, um, one of those top cut St. Louis. Or not St. Louis, why am I saying St. Louis? Salt Lake City. Okay, yeah, no, 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 we got the guy in the field, we got the guy in the field. I'm Iron Defense. These things are typically physical. I'm also Scarf. Um, honestly, pretty inclined just to Origin Pulse. And Power Whip. I'm not going to Dynamax here. I, I should survive any uh, any combination of attacks with Ferrothorn, so... Unless it's like Rindoberry. These things are typically life orb too. Unless it's like Rindoberry, I think I get a KO here. Max Airstream. That's fine. Probably just gonna get thundered, but I still get good damage. So I don't mind trading the Kyogre. Lorvids have been great. Thank you, Spurks. Yeah, it's life orb. I still outspeed them because they're not Scarf, so I'm just gonna take their Dynamax here if I connect. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Dynamax. Let's go. Alright, connect. Please. Connect or you're getting released. Pog. Frog. The Pog Frog. Alright, um... We can go Calyrex Ice here just to take, like, a little bit of pressure off of the Ferrothorn. Pretty certain, like, you know, I can just bait a Protect. Or bait them into attacking my Protect while I get an Iron Defense off. All 
Or hell, I can just start attacking, actually. <laughs> I can just start attacking. Alright. Max Quake. Go for my Iron Defense. Yeah, it just dawned on me. I already got rid of their Dynamax. Like, there's no serious defensive play for Dynamax Calyrex Ice at this point. Water Spout. Decent damage, decent damage. Alright. And that's probably game. I'm in the rain and I'm getting a free iron defense off along with a uh, special defense boost here, so I'm going to say that's probably game. Have I ever considered Zapdos Galar for a bit? I used it next to Eternus and it popped off, not going to lie. I've tried it out in Series 10. I really like Galarian Zapdos in Series 10, to be honest. Um, but I haven't used it in this series, mainly just because Thunderous is so prevalent. Alright, uh, yeah, no, like, regardless of what happens, I still Quake. I still Iron Defense. I don't lose my Pharaoh this turn. <laughs> I could Protect, but I'd rather just get this off, you know? Hey, yo, 88 viewers already. You're right, the problem with Thunderous is kind of fixed by Eternatus. Is it Specs Eternatus? Are you using the same set that I am? All Pulse bounces off of Ferrothorn. Max Quake, I win the speed tie. No leeches? No leeches. I dropped Leech Seed for, um, for Power Whip because I thought it'd be really, really nice versus, uh, what's it called? Seismitoad, which has been picking up a lot recently. And honestly, you don't really need Leech Seed with Ferrothorn. You don't really need it. You could use it. It's a good It's a good move, but you don't need it. Yo, he went for Trick Room versus a Ferrothorn while I have two Iron Defenses up and the Reins up? Go ahead, send out the Incineroar. See what happens. See what happens. What's your favorite and least favorite restricted? My favorite restricted is Eternatus, and my least favorite is probably... Probably Giratina. I don't like Giratina much. Alright, I believe this is a speed... No, it's not a speed tie. What am I saying? I'm going to Iron Defense again and Max Guard here. Speed tied between Ferrothorn and Amoongus is what I was saying. Glacial Lance. Behold, the world's weakest Lance. Call him Lance Arm Weak. Okay. Uh, I would pee. I don't go down to this. I can just Glacial Lance. Why not? Body press. Sir Lance a little. <laughs> Sir Lance a little is really good. Yeah, I, I like that one. Watch him crit me, and I just get just get exactly what I deserve for for talking crap. Jesus, he does so much. Alright, if I don't get crit this turn, I'd pretty much win. Yep. Sir Lance a little. <laughs> little baby. A little bit of leftovers recovery, little baby. 
All right, uh, just go for the lance, go for the protect. Actually, no, I don't protect. I always go in the offensive in case he decides to pollen puff. Hey, let's go. Okay. Nice. That was weird. Okay, rank 7,099. We're like all over the place with our battles tonight. Ooh, okay, wait, no. This is a really, really funny game for the for the grapple lock. Because these things are usually iron defense. I can just wait for them to set up all the way, and then I'm like, Yee! and then it's over. All right, uh, we'll go for the standard setup. This could be really funny. This could actually be really funny. Most Twitch streamers. This is a great matchup, Moxie. This is this is gonna be really funny. I don't know why people keep leading freaking Zacian into Mimikyu. It doesn't make sense, or at least Mimikyu and Cinnamar. Like, cause I just always get the fake out, and I'd gladly trade my Incineroar to get Calyrex in for free. Go ahead, take it. Also, not Scarf. Good to know that. Yeah, gladly trade my Incineroar for this. Getting the Calyrex, I can just side shadow sneak now. And I 100% need to go for the Zacian. Because they have like no switch ins for this, right? Yeah, they've got like nothing. At least nothing that, you know, they'd be happy with me taking. I've never understood get a free switch when another Pokemon doesn't trade for it. When I refer to free switch-ins, I refer to the fact that the Pokemon coming in does not take damage. Obviously, you know, I'm trading something to get the switch in, but, you know, when I say free, I mean like, oh, hey, I don't have to worry about taking a water spout on, like, Calyrex. That's, that's what that means. Because there are certain things you have to trade in the game to make progress. And I would say trading the Incineroar there is so much more valuable for me to get Calyrex in than anything else, you know? Especially this, because they had to switch an Incineroar to mitigate the damage the Kyogre would take, because they probably were thinking I was going to call Protect, uh, but I didn't, and I just get the Incineroar uh, along with a special defense boost. Unless it's Shuka. It's not. And I would so very much like for a Ferrothorn to come in. That'd be so funny. I really hope they brought Ferrothorn thinking it'd be a good match for it. Ferrothorn, please. Yes! Iron Defense now! Ooh, you want to iron defense so bad. You want to iron defense so bad. <laughs> you should iron defense now.
Beta 20, thank you so much for the follow. This should be doing a ton. Um, yeah, feel pretty good. I'll take it. Actually, it might be in my best interest to start coaching. It's going to make it much easier to live the Behemoth Blade in the late game. It's getting kind of iffy, getting kind of iffy. Okay. They should max guard. I think they have to max guard here. Alright, max guard, please. No max guard, that's a little strange. All right, that did a lot. Might be AV. AV Kyogre's so weird, though, dude. Geyser. Into Grap Locked. We love that. Awesome. I can probably get a double KO here with Glacial Lance now. If it is AV, this should KO, right? So I gotta turn a Trick Room too. gonna say pretty sure I live that dude nice okay we are at literal maximum attack Utilization comes in on the uh, left slot because that means that I don't have to worry about um, leech seed damage for the rest of the game. Oh, it's in the right slot. You're kidding me. Okay. Absolutely has to attack the Calyrex. Why is this actually, like, probably my play? Please attack Calyrex. Okay, alright, doable, doable. The question is, does Drain Punch into Shadow Sneak do it? I DC'd. Hey, man. No, don't worry about it. It's perfectly fine, dude. We all have bad internet days sometimes, you know? Alright, uh, my play here is... Glacial Lance, technically. It can't miss, and I'm already at maximum attack, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm at maximum attack. Glacial Lance is technically the correct play. No, no, the double protects the play because I never live. And I go for the drain punch. 
Come on, get the double. Calyrex with a nasty double. Hold on. This might this might work. He's gonna take so much damage from the Shadow Sneak, dude. Oh, that's good. That's good health. That's good health. He's gonna get a little bit of recovery from the Leech Seed, but I should live just barely. And he still has to attack the Calyrex. He still has to attack the Calyrex this turn. He's still- Oh my god, no! Glacial Lance just clutched it. There's no way. There's literally no way he wins. <laughs> there was no way he could win that! Because he got Octolocked! Because all I had to do was Drain Punch him a second time and then Shadow Sneak him. Like, he couldn't win that! Oh, I think that's a I think that's a good note to end the stream off on. You know, I ended a little bit early for that. I I think that, there was literally no way he could come out from that. <laughs>